So I've added all these code snippets to my page via the code and pre elements. Uh, next thing I want to do is kind of uh, style them up a little bit. Now, I'm not necessarily thrilled with the way it's looking right now and the fact that it's spilling over the page. So I want to do something about that. But before I bother jumping into the CSS, I actually want to apply a syntax highlighting code um, to it. Now that's my syntax highlighter uh, I'm using here is Google Prettify. That's what's making you know function go green and the link over here, the URL rather, uh, go orange. And I'm getting the um, each of the lines are numbered. I didn't do that manually. I actually just implemented Google Prettify. So let me show you how to put that into your own code. If you Google Google Prettify, P-R-E-T-T-I-F-Y. Uh, no D, but uh, anyhow, there you go. Uh, you should see code.google.com, google-code-prettify, and that's exactly what we're looking for. Uh, go ahead and follow the link until you get to the download page and try to find the latest download. Mine seems to be June 2011. Um, and I'll download this thing. It's called a tarball because it's it's using tar, T-A-R, as the compression method. And Okay, there we go. So here is what you get out of there. You get a whole bunch of stuff, um, but you don't really need too much. Really, the meat and potatoes of this is um, inside the uh, distrib. Google Code Prettify folder, and here you go. These two are the two little gems that you need for your code specifically. Now, before we jump the gun, uh, let me go back, and we can at least follow along a tutorial that actually you already get. You also get the tutorial in the README file when you download it. Um, but I'll just might as well just read it right off the page. It's the exact same thing. So, well, let's go through the instructions together. Uh, first order business, obviously, download the distribution. Got it. Uh, second thing we need to do is link to the Prettify CSS and Prettify JS files, right? Prettify CSS is going to give all the different color styles and all that stuff, and we could actually customize that. Uh, the Prettify.js we don't really want to mess around with because that's doing the functionality of actually finding, you know, the function word and making it a different color and uh, giving us uh, line numbers, all that jazz. So um, let's see. So before we could actually add it to our page, we want to kind of figure out where we're going to put it in our folder. So in my example here, I have index on its own, and I have an image and style sheets folder. It seems like I could create a JS folder for my JavaScript stuff and pop the uh, Google Prettify into my style sheets folder, but uh, you know, I'm not going to do it that way. I want to kind of keep this whole Google Prettify separate in its own thing. So I'm just going to create a new folder called Google Prettify, and then what I'll do is pop those two guys in there. Prettify CSS and Prettify JS. All right, the look and the functionality I got. So um, for now, I don't have to worry much about that. So there we go. So let me go and link these things to my web page. Uh, I'll just copy what I have here because it has the syntax for me. And let me start by first adding the link at the top. And I'll add it, uh, let's see, put it right underneath where the other links are. And you know what? I like the visual clarity of presenting the links the exact same way in each way. So uh, although it really doesn't matter if you put the, uh, the rel attribute before or after the href, uh, whatever, it doesn't matter. It's going to work. Um, the href is, is wrong, right? Because I, it's in a subfolder from there. And because it's HTML5, we don't need the type anymore. We don't need the forward slash, kind of like um, uh, X. HTML style closing. Um, so let's see exactly where Prettify is again. Um, okay, it's the Google Prettify folder. And one of the things that I really like about Dreamweaver when I save it is that you'll know it's linked if you go up here and you see that you could click on the tab and you'll actually see the code, right? Um, but my Prettify JS guess what? It's not on this local disk because my link isn't correct. So uh, just code view, please. So 
I have to fix that. I'll go the href. I just got to put that Google Prettify folder in my source, and there I have it. Uh, because this is JavaScript, I don't necessarily want to have this at the beginning because it'll just uh, JavaScript won't execute until the page is fully loaded. So I'll let the page load, and I'll put it right at the bottom, right before. Um, the document end like we got over there. So now let me just make sure Prettify CSS and Prettify JS is there. Uh, nice. Okay. Um, now if I investigate what's happened to my page, so far nothing because um, it doesn't just work automatically. You actually have to add some stuff to your code. So let's go back to the documentation. So it says so in order for it to do it, we have to add the the class Pretty Print. Okay, as it it's oh no 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 wait a second. Step three is to add onload dot pretty print to your document's body tag. Easy enough. So step three is saying uh, I'll go up to the body and right where we have this body tag, I add the property onload pretty print. There we go. Um, okay, so far so good. So that's that's initiating the pretty print function because if we see right here, pretty print is in fact a JavaScript function. Cool. Uh, we're not done yet. Modify your style sheet to get the colors you prefer. We'll go over that. Not now. We'll we'll wait. But what we need to do is add to the pre class or to the code class pretty print. I'm sorry, we need to either add to the pre or the code element, the class pretty print. So let's, well, let's, why don't we do it to the parent element? We'll do it to pre, and I'll just add it right there. And then, and then you know what? Just the very first tile, I'll add it to pre, and the second tile, I'll add it to code. I mean, it's telling me I have the option to do one or the other. Let's at least see what the deal is and why one, how it'll work. So let me now look. It should be working on these two top elements. Let's see. Cool. It works. And check this out. Because um, I added it to pre, I got a nice little box over there. But because I added it to code, although it uh, changed the... Um, it changed the colors of that code. It didn't give me this nice little box thing. So this is leading me to think that I should add it to all my pre-elements instead of code because um, you know I'll probably want that line numbering for sure. So let me do uh, well. Let me change that, and I will go ahead and add the pre. Sorry, I'll add the uh, pretty print class to all of my pre-elements.